Hello students, welcome to the session. Today I am going to talk about the topic of ankle joint which comes under lower limb. So ankle joint it is also called as talocrural joint. So it is almost the distal uh, synovial joint almost of the lower limb where you can see the articular surfaces okay that is the inferior articular surface on the talus okay then you have the facet on the medial malleolus and the facet on the lateral malleolus so this becomes the tibiofibular mortis i repeat the inferior articular surface of the lower end of the tibia then you have the facet on the medial malleolus facet on the lateral malleolus so that forms the tibiofibular mortis whereas when coming to the lower articular surface it is the superior surface on the body of the talus so that is articulating to form the ankle joint which is also called as talocrural joint so while discussing about any joint it goes under the following criteria: the type of joint what are the bones that are forming the joint ligaments relations movements the muscles that are producing the movements then lastly applied aspects so speaking about the type of joint ankle joint is homologous to elbow joint so it is a modified hinge variety of synovial joint then the bones forming the joint as i've already told the bones forming the joint inferiorly it is the body of the talus superior surface and above it is the inferior articular surface of the tibia along with the facets of medial and lateral malleolus so about the tibiofibular mortis that is the inferior articular surface of tibia and trochlear talimens it is the superior articular facet on the body of the talus coming to the ligaments of the ankle joint there are three ligaments fibrous capsule or capsular ligament as in goes for all the joints then you have the medial ligament which is also called as deltoid ligament and lateral ligaments okay so we'll see one by one coming to the fibrous capsule capsular ligament or fibrous capsule so this is at, uh, attachment is seen at the articular margins of the joint so you are seeing in the picture here the articular margins the lower ends of the articular surfaces anteriorly and posteriorly and below it is to the margins on that superior surface of the body of the talus so lining the fibrous capsule inner lining is called as synovial membrane next moving to the medial ligament of the ankle joint which is also called as deltoid ligament so you are seeing there the deltoid ligament the apex of it is attached to the medial malleolus of tibia and the base of it is spreading to the respective tarsal bones that means from the medial malleolus of tibia going to the calcaneum you have tibio calcanean part then going from tibia to the navicular bone you have tibio navicular part then you have the anterior and posterior tibiotalar part so under that posterior tibiotalar comes under the superficial slip whereas anterior tibiotalar part comes under the deep slip of deltoid ligament going to the lateral ligaments so lateral ligaments actually are three in number so one is calcaneofibular ligament from the lateral tubercle of calcaneus going to the fibular lateral malleolus so that is calcaneofibular ligament then you have anterior and posterior tibiotalar ligament anterior and posterior tibiotalar ligament goes with the joint name that is the lateral ligaments of the ankle joint so capsular ligament medial ligament and lateral ligaments of the joint this slide particularly to show the posterior tibiotalar ligament attaching from malleolar fossa on the lower end of the fibula to the posterior process of the talus coming to the movements of the ankle joint it is dorsiflexion and plantar flexion okay so what are the muscles that are producing dorsiflexion and plantar flexion dorsiflexion muscles are the muscles of anterior compartment of the leg so start from tibialis anterior then extensors that is extensor digitorum longus extensor hallucis longus and peroneus tertius when it comes to plantar flexors of the foot at the ankle joint it is the posterior muscles of the leg posterior compartment muscles of the leg so that is tibialis posterior flexor digitorum longus flexor hallucis longus 
and also the superficial muscles like gastrocnemius, soleus and plantaris which are the calf muscles. All these are plantar flexors of the foot at the ankle joint. Coming to the relations, the same relations you are going to uh, see there that is anterior relations will be the muscles of the anterior compartment of the leg. So you start from medial to lateral side that is tibialis anterior, extensor digitorum longus, extensor hallucis longus and peroneus tertius and the artery and nerve the compartment that is anterior tibial artery and deep peroneal nerve. Whereas coming to the posterior relations, you can see the deep muscles of the posterior compartment of the leg that is tibialis posterior, flexor digitorum longus, flexor hallucis longus okay and you also find the artery and nerve the compartment tibial nerve and posterior tibial artery. Lateral relations are the lateral compartment muscles that is peroneus longus and peroneus brevis. The nerve of the compartment, lateral compartment is superficial peroneal nerve. So these are the relations of the ankle joint. Coming to the arterial and nerve supply, there are malleolar branches that are given from anterior tibial artery, medial and lateral malleolar branches. Then you have the branches from articular branches from the posterior tibial and peroneal arteries. Coming to the nerve supply for the joint, it's the articular branches from deep per peroneal and tibial nerves. That is from anterior compartment and posterior compartment of the leg. Coming to the applied aspects lastly, one applied aspect what I have put here is POTS fracture. So POTS fracture refers to the forcefully sudden everted foot in case of athletes that is lower end of the shaft of the fibula is fractured here and you will also see the fracture of the medial malleolus of the fibula. So it is the foot forcefully everted and sudden fracture on the lower end of the shaft of the fibula is called as spots fracture. So in this case, see in case of athletes due to the sudden direction of force in the lateral side, so you see the sudden eversion of the foot and tear in the ligaments also and you can also see the tear in the medial malleolus and the shaft of the fibula is also getting fractured. So this is called as spots fracture. Thank you.